Greetings, YouTube. Happy new content day. I have finally done the thing that I always forget to do, and that's start new content day, new content Wednesday with a full energy in stock. I'll, uh, I'll do like daily catalyst quests, and then I'll start it and think, man, why did I do that? I did that this morning because I was up, you know, for a while. But uh, we have new content. We've got the Escape from Titan Episode 1 that looks to be challenging with threat level 5. We've got 7 star shards for the first time, I believe, as the picture. We've got a piggy bank back. We've got Marvel Insider exclusive offers. We just have everything. And uh, is the piggy bank visible? Yes, and it is the golden piggy bank that comes back. This is the A plus value, a million gold. Okay, so we got to do a video on that at some point because it's a million gold for five bucks, which it, I think it started as ten dollars, but that's incredible. Kabam still puts that, still seriously puts that as uh, as a hundred dollars worth of gold in some cases. I'm not saying it's worth $100 worth of gold. I'm just saying that's the price that they charge for it, or at least throw in some actual gold. Okay, so we are going to do my favorite questing team and just see what happens. And uh, who knows? Maybe it'll go well. Maybe it won't. But we will uh, plan accordingly. This is my squad, like it or not. Okay, threat level five. We're jumping in. We're beginning the quest. You can see we've got Toad, Masakre. Look at this. Fantastic four path. Let's go Masakre. One energy per tile. I didn't need a special key or anything. I just entered it. Bubble Shield, Dauntless. All right, you know the drill. Let's start up those feats of strength with Hercules. Start with the Parry Heavy. Parry Heavy. Looking to counter an intercept. I could have been knocked down there, but I will not. There's an intercept. All right, you know with Masakura, it's all about baiting that special one. And charging in. I have learned with gameplay. People either accuse me of not putting enough out there or they accuse me of sucking. <laughs> I always think, man. Now, I love the special too, but I have learned, like I've been playing Hercules for months now, obviously, but I have learned that the smartest thing to do to start out is to, if you can, do a special three and then immediately get hit with a heavy or a special because you're indestructible. So you get the charge. All right, so oh, that's not what I wanted. Hit me with a heavy. Hit me heavy. Yes. Look at that. So I, I lost no health and yet gained my third feet of strength. See what I did there? Now, that might be just a common thing everybody with Hercules does, but his special two is so much fun that I really um, just haven't put two and two together before. All right. So far, so good. Again, this is be like water. Ooh. Bubble shield, Dauntless. Okay, so this has changed from the first defender, but we're still gonna we're still gonna try, okay. So this is basically a don't get hit. And they have that really small projectile. That is my most annoying <laughs> part of this um, all right so I that's where the relic really helps because I was able to combo a special two to it and was wow okay I don't get proud of myself very often for gameplay but that was a tight wire that I was able to execute pretty well okay here is Hawkeye Ronin shout out to Allison her favorite champ buffet over time Bubble shield, be like water. So it's kind of building. Every fight builds on the last one. Sort of like a crescendo of, of debuffs.
but that is also why we are building with Hercules. And you know I'm going to make a mistake at some point, but we are bringing in the relic. Look at that region. Look at that region and the unblockable. All right, I'm going to bait his head. There we go. Okay, so special two. I, I mean, this is threat level five. This is for a generic six-star awakening gem at some point. So that's, you know, pretty important. And I'm not going to explore the whole path. I'm just going to complete it to save time. But let's look at this boss. I'm guessing it's combined everything else. Dauntless, heavy-handed, counter-strike, shank. When striking into the defender's block, the attacker has a 40% chance to be inflicted with a bleed debuff. And then escalating pierce. Okay, so parry is probably a bad idea. But we're going to start this out anyway and see if we regret it. And look at that. Relic starting out in full. All right. Baited the heavy with the heavy. Now, Yandu, just like Masakre, you just want to bait that special one. As the great, and I mean great, Seton would say, easy game, easy life. Yandu, one of the easiest defenders possible. Interesting they chose him for this boss. He is knocked out. So what do you get for doing a completion path of the new threat level 5? I will say this. Again, I'm not saying it's super hard content, but for me, this is amongst the best gameplay I have produced on my channel in terms of mistakes. I don't think I made a single mistake um, to only use Hercules and finish with 94% health and not have the restoration kit synergy. Pretty good. Okay, so that path... 2 tier 2 alpha, 2,000 6 star shards, and 750 5 star relic crystal shards. And let's just let's just see how many paths you got to do. Okay, so you got 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, I want to say. 5 paths explores it. And we do have, in terms of time, um, I mean, this is episode one, so let's exit out of here. You can restart it. That's an important thing. It's not keyed. We have 35 days of episode one. So it says 33% explored. I think that's deceiving because I do think there are five paths. But, man, uh, very fair fights given what it could be, <laughs> especially because, you know, I was able to do it. <laughs> that means it's fair. Uh, okay, good luck to everybody who jumps in. I'm really excited to post this on my channel, and hopefully you enjoyed some gameplay.